What's up guys? Today we are doing the most brutal trap base in all of Rust. I'll tell you all about it. It's called the decoy trap base. This trap base doesn't require any electricity or any knowledge of anything. You just need to farm your little heart out, get some wood, get some stone. I will show you guys how to build this base really easy. It is the decoy trap base. So what it is, it has a false floor where we will place a sleeping bag. We will leave about four or five of these throughout the map around our post. And we are hoping that a few players starting out their wipe, find our abandoned trap base here, move in, go about their wipe, getting all the guns, resources and scrap, which will later take over. If you're wondering how this works, so here I built the base with all raised foundations around it. I'm going to break the one of the squares where I can put my sleeping bag. Remember to name your bag, something that you're going to remember later. We're going to call ours the Koi Traps 1, 2, 3 and so on. So we will cover this area with some fake floors on top of a couple of twig half walls that we can break later. We'll leave the TC open and just hope that somebody calls this home. And that didn't take long at all. Somebody already moved in. If you can see in the distance, there is a wooden door. And I couldn't help myself. I just watched from a distance, all excited to see what they were up to. Looks like we're all set with decoy number one. We just have to wait. Time to build decoy base number two. And just like that, with the magic of television, decoy trap base number two is done. Thanks to our friend Brick, who was also playing on the server and gave us a little bit of coverage here. Before I could build the decoy trap base number three, I got a message from Brick asking me to help him. Uh, he had gone deep on one of the neighbors. And we failed miserably. Sorry, Brick. I'm a trapper. Oh, and look at that. Somebody moved in while we were going deep on the neighbors. Decoy trap number two activated. So, you know, I had to pretend break this tree so I could watch them for a little bit. What are they up to? What loot will we have? Decoy base number three, let's go. And just as I was finishing up our decoy base, we already got to move in. And then I went back to my favorite thing to do, which is just watching my little tenant in and out of their base, farming, getting guns, getting scrap. I had some time to kill, so I just decided to go around the map twice. It is now the next morning, time to go and open all of our little decoy trap bases. Decoy trap base number four, unfortunately just decayed, somebody griefed it, didn't move in, so I'm going to break it out of rage. Let's 
see what we got on decoy trap number one. Okay, so we got a sleeper, we got a Hazzy, we got a Tommy. What else do we have in the TC in the boxes? Hey, not bad. I guess he didn't farm all night, he just played for a little bit. We'll take it. Now we just gotta get ourselves out of here. Since you only use the wooden door, I'm actually gonna re-trigger the trap and just uh, pick myself out of the wooden door. And time for the next decoy trap base. Let's see what we're going to get here. The furnaces broke, but each one of them had 1000 sulfur inside. We'll definitely take that. That's a profit. This is the full loot from this decoy trap base. Not bad at all. And with the loot safely back in the base, let's go check out decoy number three. And this is all the loot from trap base number three. So you might be wondering, why did I call this the most brutal trap base in Rust? It's because the players are not just losing what's on their body, but actually losing their entire base. And that's it guys. That's the story of how I did absolutely nothing this wipe and still got rich. Compliments of my lovely tenants. I hope you're watching this video. If you are, now you know what happened, and I am so sorry. I will catch you guys next time. Oh, guy out.